Hello everybody, welcome to the United Stands. I'm Mark Goldbridge. Here we go. Joshua Sirksey is a Manchester United player. Ineos' first signing of the summer transfer window. Confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. Smash a like on the video. I said today we would get it. And boy, oh boy, have we got it. Joshua Sirksey, Manchester United player. Um, Man United will not trigger the release clause, but they will slight pay slightly above 40 million euros with better payment terms in three years. Xerxes joins until 2029 on a five-year deal with the option for a further season. It's the first signing of the Ineos era. Not my words, the words of Fabrizio Romano. So how are you feeling, everybody? We're probably not surprised but it's a big, big deal for Manchester United. We've spoken about uh, why, well, we, we'll, we'll, we'll revisit why we haven't paid the re release clause, but massive news for Manchester United. Joshua Zerksey, here we go. Manchester United signing done. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, look, I think the thing for me is that I don't want to listen to people talking about crap cameos for a minute against the against England last night. I don't want people talking about he doesn't start for the Netherlands. I want people talking about Milan. We're going to sign him from Bologna for £34 million. And Manchester United in mid-June, so nearly a month ago, decided that this was the deal they wanted to hijack. In conversation with Ten Hag, collectively as a board, we, with the decision of that board, which we know includes people like Ashworth, Barada, Wilcox... You know, and Ten Hag, of course, we've decided that this is the player that we want to go for. We know we need another striking option to share the load with Rasmus. And we've decided that this is the guy. Do I expect him to come in and hit the ground running, scoring 30 Premier League goals in his first season? No. Do I expect him to come in and grow with a team that's growing? Yes. Do I expect him to offer things that we don't have at the moment? Yes. Do I think he could play in other positions other than as the number 10 up front? Yes. Do I think he could play sometimes behind Erasmus? Yes. Do I think he could play off the wing sometimes? Yes. Do I think that we could adapt the situation and play too? Yes. I look at this player and I think that um, he's tall. He's got very, very good close technical skills and we are going to have to adapt to him and he's going to adapt to us. And no doubt haters are going to hate, you know, Media going to hate. He's going to come on for his first half an hour against Fulham and maybe look a little bit rusty and everyone will go, United have bought another dud. I'm not interested in that. This is a long-term signing for Manchester United. When you look at the vision that we have, when you look at the players that we're buying, we're looking at under 25, come into this football club, learn the ways of this football club under a new ownership and earn your second contract. Make yourself great. Is he hungry? Yes. Is he young to fight for another contract? Yes. Has he got the talent to go to other levels? Yes. If you look at somebody like Alexis Sanchez, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Zlatan, Ronaldo, they're coming in on the way down the mountain. If we're being honest, whatever their peak was, they're on the way down the mountain. They've hit their peak. You think about somebody climbing Everest. They've already been up there. They've had the high of the heights. They're on their way down with a smile on their face. It's only going one way. You look at Xerxes, you look at De Litt, you look at Agate, they've still got levels to go. And that's the easiest way of describing what we're trying to do here. And they won't all work. Some of them will fall down the mountain because they weren't good enough. But not every signing will work. And I think that the mature way for us to look at this now is that we are making the right type of signings. And if Xerxes flops, it doesn't mean it wasn't the right signing because we already know every transfer doesn't succeed. 60, 70 percent of transfers don't succeed. So we're not we're not all going to hit with everybody. If we buy De Ligt, Agate, Xerxes, Branthwaite, a right back, a left back, statistically two of them, maybe three of them will not will will flop. It's just the way it is. So I think we need to get realistic. Um I know we live in this FIFA generation of, oh, well, you know, you're a flop if you had a bad game, but not everybody does succeed. And maybe Xerxes won't. And maybe we'll have to go and get another striker next year. But it's the right type of signing. If you're tuning in, it's confirmed. It's the first here we go of the summer. Joshua Xerxes to Manchester United. Here we go. From Fabrizio Romano, Man United 
will not pay the release clause. They'll pay a little bit more than that, but it's a five-year deal with the option for a further year. Will he fly in and do his medical? Will he fly in and, you know, hold the shirt up? Or will he go straight on holiday? I don't know. A um, few questions that are coming in. Will he go on the tour? Absolutely not. He's just been part of the Dutch squad, so it'll be holiday time for three weeks into Old Trafford at the start of August when we get back from the tour. Why are we paying more than the release clause? Simple. And it's encouraging. If you want more signings, what Man United are doing is encouraging. So if we had paid the release clause of 34 million, we would have had to pay the 34 million pounds up front. What we've actually done is what we speculated we would do. We're paying more than 34 million. We're paying a little bit more, but it'll work out less because instead of having to give Bologna 34 million now, we probably give them 12 million now, 12 million next year and 15 million the year after, which gives us more flexibility to do another deal. If you pay 34 million pounds for Xerxes now, you can't probably buy a Garte. But if you if you pay them a little bit more and stagger the payments, you can go and buy another player. So, yeah, don't start listening to twats who start ridiculing the fact that we're paying a little bit more than the release clause. It's good business, like uh, like Karis said. How long do you think the Delit deal will take, says Logan? I think with Delit, very, very quickly, if you listen to what's being put out there by people like Fabrizio, I think that's getting very, very close. Maybe that's tomorrow. Um, um, yeah, uh, Rizzo says, big up, Mark. 41 months of member. Do you think paying a few million uh, more but less each year on the books is the right move by Ashworth? Oh, 100%. 100% for what I just said, Rizzo, there. Do you think this is sad? I can't even watch the final Sunday as I work the next day at 3 a.m. like it's depressing having to work, says Bob. Surely he takes the number nine. Jay said, Nev nine, here we go, says Trinity. Great buy. How about Chiricarito as a backup at six 36, says Anthony. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Mr. Sue says, will he go on pre-season? I think we've answered that. And Mario Franco says, making smart moves. Can't recognise my club now. Well, I think the thing for me is that the real the important thing here, here is that we're, we're getting deals done. Like, we know that we are negotiating for Xerxes over the last couple of weeks. We know that we are negotiating for De Ligt over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and we know that we're negotiating for Agate over the last couple of weeks. But what we're doing here is, is that we're, get, we're getting the deals over the line. You know, we've bid for Branthwaite um, as well. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're getting things done. We're, we're negotiating and then we're moving on. So Xerxes, here we go now. Official announcement from the club is the final bit, but I'm not that concerned about when that is. Maybe it's August, maybe it's this week before he goes on holiday. As fans, we have a here we go and we move on to the next one. That's how it works. Well, most of us do as well. So it's always nice when you know, when a, when you know a deal is going to happen that you actually do get it done. Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.